Okay, so in this uh, lesson number two, we're looking at how to get out of wrist holds or how to use your attacker's strength. So if someone grabs your wrist, and it's very hard to spread your arms. So here, he can resist, but if I'm trying to press my arms, he's gonna stop me from pressing it, I can easily do it. So the idea, if someone grabs your arms, you use their strength. So I'm pushing to the side, as soon as I feel him push, I can just relax and I've got him and I can do whatever I like. So it's about using your opponent's strength. Also, I haven't got my brakes on, which means if he, from here, I can easily pull myself in, which is gonna momentarily weaken his grip. So from here, he's tight, but because I'm relaxing, I can then come in and strike, using his power and my power to pull myself forward. Use my wheelchair to attack his legs, if need be. If he grabs me, whether it be around the throat or on my clothes, it doesn't matter. So I want to pull his elbow towards me. But if he resists, I'm not going to. But what I want to do is I'm going to push his arm that way. He's going to resist and he's known his momentum is going to take him. So here I'm pushing that way. He's going to push against me. As soon as I feel it, I can pull. And from there, I can do anything. So once again, I'm using my attacker's strength. So, always think, how can I take my opponent off balance? How can I use his strength against him? Okay, so, here, here I'm not interested, he has the head, don't need bang. From here, the head controls the body. I can use my thumb on his nose and twist. As I pull his arm, I can use it, my leg, like a lever and break his arm. On my wheelchair, on my leg. Throw his arm away, reverse back. We'll just do that once more. So here, I'm not interested, he comes back. From here, I grab this elbow, there's a, what I call is a hole here. I'm gonna put him in the hole. I'm putting his head into the hole. If he hasn't got any hair, it will work as well. So what I'm doing is I'm using his nose, I'm using his ears, as soon as his body goes, I'm going to use his momentum to put him where I want him to go. Again, I've got his arm across my wheelchair. Break his fingers, thumb in the face or whatever. Okay, so now what's happened, he's actually grabbed me, my hands are on my chair, because I don't want to roll back. So from here, same thing, he might be going head back me. Bang, exactly the same move. Pulling the elbow, the nose. Over here, wrist lock, elbow lock. If it's a stranger hold again, from here I can pull back. As I pull back, this hand slides up and pushes into this nice little notch here. I'm trying to put my finger through and down onto his spine. So from here, I want to disengage, leave me alone. Your voice is the weapon. So you have to have confidence, you are the winner. So I don't, leave me alone, strong. No! From here. So here, um, he's got me around the neck for example. What I want to do is take him off balance. So where I'm sitting is like a hole and where Wendell is at the back, there's a hole. So if I push him this way, he's gonna go into the hole. If I pull him this way, he's gonna go into the hole. So what I'm doing is I'm pulling his elbow into this hole. Now, my hand is protecting my head in case he wants to headbutt me. Alternatively, I might put my hand against his head and then I'm gonna chop the back of his head, aiming to come out the opposite side of his head. So here to here, bang, bang. And then disengage. I put my brakes on so as I wouldn't run him over. But in a real situation, I'd be using my wheelchair as a weapon. I would be ramming him if need be, pulling back. So if he grabs me and goes to push me, I'm going to just run up. Now I can get out. Thank you.